Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on refuting the claims of scientific miracles in the Quran. I am your host Al Fadi and obviously you can watch this series on our uh, YouTube channel Sira International and of course through our Facebook platform as well. With me here in studio to continue our analyses of these claims, my dear brother Dr. Jay Smith. Jay yeah, what we've gone is through today's claim. We're coming on to now the fifth one that that Muslims claim is a miracle, uh, and this is uh, chapter sixteen, verse sixty-six or Surah sixteen, ayah sixty-six. Let me read it to you. What it says in the English translation, and verily, in the cattle. So these are cows. There is a lesson for you. We give you to drink of that which is in their bellies from between excretions and blood pure milk, palatable to the drinkers. So what it's saying here is that the milk of the cows, which I love, it's one of my, it is my favorite drink, uh, comes milk, but it's not from the udder. I've always thought the milk came from the udder. It's saying it is from between excretion and the blood. That means the bile and the blood. So you're saying that that's where it comes from, the milk itself. Now, I don't think of too many people uh, who have, are hu in husbandry that would agree with that analysis. So this is not a proof. This is actually an error. And uh, I think we, we're going to talk also about scientific errors of the Quran. We're kind of talking point. about it as we go, aren't we? That's right. Exactly. And this is just a classic example. I mean, uh, you know, last time we talked about the, uh, another error stating that the sun sits in a pool of mud. Which in today's, uh, you know, science, I mean, if you mention this to any serious scientist, uh, they are not going to take you seriously at all because of all of the discoveries that we have. And now we have another claim that is taken literally, basically, uh, at least taken literally at the time when it was revealed that that's where the milk is coming from. Now, I know, by the way, some of our Muslim friends, by the way, Jay, will, will tell you that these are metaphorical things. I mean, have you dealt with that before? Yeah, and I would suggest to be careful of that because the Quran, if, if there is certain metaphor and it's meant from that, this does not sound, this is not a metaphor because there's no imagery that's, that it's trying to portray. Uh, we look at the mustard seed as a metaphor because it's talking about the kingdom of God. You need to look and see that it's referring to the kingdom of God, the smallest to the largest. Right. And if you look at a mustard seed, look how large it becomes the size of a tree. There is the metaphor there. There. It, it, this is the, what is this comparing it to? It's not comparing it to anything. No, here is a claim by the God saying, you know, take an example of this. Now, uh, let me say one thing else to Muslims who are watching this. Whenever we put this up on YouTube, on both Sita and on Fander Films, do go and comment at the bottom. We want to see you comment on Absolutely. this. We want to see you respond to this. This is not just for you to listen to. We also want you to engage with us. All those of you who are also watching this, go and look at the comments. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. You can actually come and say what you think is going on here. Let's get this discussion going. Let's get this debate going. Al-Fadi and I are very clear that we think these are not proofs at all, that these are drastic errors. Understandable errors because these are all written uh, by people who are observing this and they assume, uh, in this case, that milk that uh, is you can take it out of the teats of the udder, it must therefore come from somewhere else in the body, excrement and the blood. No, it doesn't come from there, but do comment. Do let's talk about it. Let's get engaged. We don't want this to be passive. We want you to see that though we come from this standpoint, we could be wrong. We could be getting it wrong. Maybe this is a metaphor. Maybe this is a hyperbole. Maybe this is a simile. These are quite normal in the Bible, in the biblical context. We oh, we know that this is the Bible is made up of that because it is always giving something in comparison to another, and then you know it's a metaphor. Absolutely. God clapping his hands. Yeah, like a tree clapping its branches. That is a metaphor. Uh, so you can, there's certainly, a, I, I don't want to dispel it or dismiss it or try to say that this is not what's going on. Let's engage on it and let's see if this is correct. Amen. I mean, there's something in the Bible called similes, you know, and uh, you can tell in the context that there is a comparison that has taken place. You mm. know? So thank you so much for clarifying that for our audience. And thank you indeed for inviting him to engage with us uh, with comments. We love to hear from you. In fact, we would love to hear your reaction to what you're hearing. If this is the, for the first time you've heard something like this, let us know how that makes you feel, uh, basically. And if you're still convinced that uh, what the Quran is saying is true, give us your evidence. Why do you think it is true and you're still convinced 
that uh, there is no error whatsoever in it. And hopefully you'll find this series very helpful to your ministry. Until we meet again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.